Hi, I'm Fads. And I'm Chris. And we are here to show you how to turn your company data into instant answers for your team, but also agents and workflows built on top. And it all starts with search. We've built the most accurate search that works with pretty much any data source that you have. Okay, so let's get started. So this is super. And here we will start typing, yeah, something quite common, a question that we can get in support, that we can get in sales, how does super manage permissions? Here you can see already super triggering a lot of search queries and finding results in some documentation, some linear tickets, maybe some Slack, and generating it for me. The sources are cited within the answer. So if you click over here, you not only get the source, but you get an explanation as to why that source is even being chosen in the yeah. first place. Let's ask another question. Let's ask it to give us a summary of what Chris has been up to. So this is a good example of something that you will do uh, if you're a manager and you need to get a catch up on your team work, if you come back from work. And here we can see that Super is able to infer from the question of Fadida the date range, uh, the author, some instructions to generate the reply. And it also runs, you know, once again, a lot of queries on all the documents that we have. So here is the answer. And yeah, I'm basically, you know, like working mostly on Super Launch and then some product related activities. So yeah, great. Okay, so that was the search. And search is really the foundational piece of Super. But once you can find anything on your team data, it means that your AI agents and workflows can find anything on your team data. And this is where the real power begins. So we are going to navigate to our assistants. Here I can see all the assistants of our team, or the pinned assistants for me. We can check some templates. Maybe we can create a new one. Yeah. One of the most common assistants that people use is an assistant that helps craft a response for a customer yep. reply. So let's go with that. Great. So now my assistant's generated and you can see we actually create the instructions for you. So you don't need to be an expert in prompting. You can leave that part to us. So as Chris said, I will add intercom as a yep. source and then Slack since a lot of conversations happen about the product on there. Yeah, and maybe like we can filter by last year or something like this. Yeah, good idea. Make it fresh. I'll go ahead and ask a question now. And a common one we get is about pricing and uh, discounts, etc. So let's go with that. Okay, so here, once again, uh, you can see that you have some instructions that have been applied. It will still find the source and do something similar to a search, but now it will turn it into action. So in this very specific case, like the instruction generated have been about, is generating literally the reply that we can copy and paste to the customer. Maybe one thing to note here that I think is interesting, like in the two first kind of sources that have been explained, we can see that uh, something changed recently. We changed the discount. And so bad AI search would have kind of like messed up with this. But here, the beauty of it is you can double check and you know that because you have all your team data and not just like some documentation that might be outdated, you can be sure to have like the most accurate answer. Now, we see with our customers that most of the assistants are used through the same type of workflow. So of course, you can build your own workflows, call it through API, MCP, Zapier even. But for the most repetitive workflows, we decided to build experiences around them. And we'll show three of them today. Starting with digests. And this is great for those infamous reports that you send on a weekly, monthly basis. You can now schedule them and yeah. have them sent out automatically. Exactly. So the best example for me is the sales pipeline digest. I have this one uh, that is sent every Monday by email to a few people in the team and you should uh, add yourself to this one. And it basically doesn't work like a regular assistant because it doesn't search. It literally scans an entire set of information. So in this case, my ATIO from last week. So it looks at all the deals, the dates that happened last week and generates a report for me. So this is the last one that I got uh, yesterday. And as you can see, it generated me a breakdown of the deals that moved last week on both of our products. And of course, if I continue, there is a lot of information on customers. Now, I have another one that I want to show you. So this is like a task list. It literally take all my Slack, look at all the information where I'm mentioned or you know, where I interact and basically build a task list for me. So the first one, I priorities filmed this, this launch video, so great. Take that one off. I will take this one off. What's next? Let's go with Ask in Bulk. All right. So this is a feature that uh, is very specific. So it's for certain workflows like filling in security questionnaires or RFPs. 
So if you don't know, RFP are typically the kind of form that you receive from customers when you are trying to close them in sales. And you just have like 200 questions to answer at once. So here we have Fadida that copy pasted from a spreadsheet. As you can see, it fills every question. Uh, we just put three for this example. We selected an assistant. So literally you can set up some specific sources like past RFP, uh, specific help center, and you can set specific instructions as well so that you can say, for instance, if you're not sure, like uh, generate a big warning. And if you are sure, like do not add anything else but the reply. And this is uh, interestingly enough, something that I've seen like a lot of our customers using to test Super Engine. So when they arrived, they're just running through like, you know, test of their question, like HR or whatever product to see how well it behaves. And you can copy the individual answers or you can save the results to a CSV. Now we have one last tool to show you that you'll get ready to use when you get started with Super and that's Super Buttons. So here we are in Intercom this time, but as you can see, Super is appearing here as a little button that's basically connected now in my workflow so I don't have to leave where I'm at. And here we can see in Intercom, uh, this is through the Chrome extension, that this super button appeared. And you can see that you have like a few functions, like help me enter, summarize this account. So this is all things that we define at the account level and that get on your screen. So literally you can say, you know, like I want my team to fix this workflow. They can just like, you know, get it started straight away and they don't even need to set it up. Like you can set it up for them and they will get like this magical button appearing on their screen. I will copy and paste this answer into the chat. Work is done. Yeah, awesome. So that is super button. Of course, you can bring it into any tool that your team use on a daily basis. All it takes is them having the Chrome extension being logged on your team accounts. And then you can literally kind of bring super into their daily life and, you know, fix a lot of the internal workflows that you have. That was super. And we keep adding more and more data sources, but also building tools so that bringing AI at work is instant for your team. And you can get started today. Simply visit super.work, book a demo, and we'll get you started. Super. <laughs> I think, like, I'm going to go. I'm just leaving a gap.